Hey YouTube, uh, it's Michael again and as you can see I'm tinkering around again and man, I'm so glad I finally managed to program the CPLZ contained on this uh, logic analyzer board. Uh, you might remember it from my new room video I uh, introduced it. You see this is a, a an open project, uh, Minila it, it is called. Uh, and, this, and it is a 100 megahertz logical analyzer that can be used uh, in con conjunction with a PC to, well, track digital signals. And uh, mm, in the low price segment on the market, there isn't any any product that that really is low low priced. I mean, the hardware, the parts for this programmer uh, logical analyzer is about 100 euros. It would be a sort of 130, 140 dollars. Um, so, and it's quite powerful considering, but it was a real pain uh, programming the CPLD. Uh, what I, uh, I had this uh, programmer here, uh, which is a parallel programmer, uh, Xilinx clone parallel programmer, uh, which I used, tried to use, and it just didn't work. It was never detected, it could do what I want. Uh, and now I used uh, Another free project, which is called uh, USB Proc, which is also an, an open project, a, a little programmer. I flashed a firmware onto this tool, so it enables it to program those CPLDs. And what I finally did is um, programming the file directly, and it actually succeeded this time. It, at least uh, it claims that it succeeded. So there is no reason not to believe this, because uh, this protocol runs two ways, so if there was an error, I would know. Um, so, using this uh, USB prop tool to program the CPLD, uh, well, finally succeeded. So, what's missing now is the SRAM and is the uh, the oscillator, yeah, the crystal oscillator is a 100 megahertz oscillator which I don't have yet because it is hard to get and the RAM for the system to store uh, the measure points so that's it mm, and hopefully now that it works mm, I can get this thing working and uh, well if it works and I need to build up these uh, probes right uh, to finally make it make it going uh, but I haven't done that yet because I wanted to do this first so it really cost me some nerves um, the past few days I, I was sitting here trying to do this and, and sometimes it can be a little frustrating but then finally it works and well so sort of it pays off and yeah that's good uh, once this thing is completely in action I can show it to you again and it's it's a worthy project. It is a lot of work but you wouldn't get uh this performance for this price anywhere on the market so it's a good thing. Yeah, thanks for watching to you and if there is anything you'd like to see, maybe about computers or um, anything else, please let me know. You know, it's it's a funny thing I have about um yeah, it's, I suppose almost 70 subscribers by now, uh, which is really cool because <laughs> you see, I didn't expect this, so don't know that the stuff I do is that interesting, you know. And for, for most people, I suppose it's it's not that interesting at all. But thanks to all of you, and well, if you want to communicate, I'm always open. Thanks.